Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So I'm here for your weekly guidance. I'm not using the oracle cards as I usually do. I am using Dreams of Gaia Tarot today. And let's just see what these messages have to say to us. Please go ahead and choose either option one, two or three. And I'm going to go ahead and begin the reading. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we're asking, what is your weekly guidance? What is your weekly guidance? What is it that you need to know right now? And what is it that's going to assist you as you come through today? And as you come through this week? So there is quite a, um, a large sunlight streak coming across my table right now. So I have just a small space to work in. Um... So I feel here that as you go along in this week, there's going to be a need to take a step back and actually look at how you would uh, take on a leadership role in the situation that you've been dealt or in the situation that uh, approaches you at this moment. I feel there's a sense here in which one needs to take into account the other person's opinion and uh, or the other party's opinion and try to put yourself in their shoes to understand what is it that they need right now. I feel also that um, there's a degree of nurturing that needs to come through, a degree of compassion that needs to come through as you look at what you need to do. So this week, it's important to take that into account. I feel also here that there's a sense that it's not a bad idea to pause, to stop, and to think about what needs to be done before you take action. So this might be a week when you just decide to pause and not actually take any action, not actually decide what it is that you need to do. It feels also like there's a huge um, decision or there's some decision pending, which might um, be quite huge for you or it might have huge consequences. I'm not sure. Of, it could be either. And so there is a sense that you need to just wait and bide your time before you can actually take action or before you can actually decide what is necessary or what needs to be. I think here it's necessary to take things slowly and not to act too quickly because if you act too quickly, what might happen is that um, you might find that you are taking sides or you might find that you're on one side of things and it's almost as if you need to be... Um, taking up an infinite space. It's like you need to take up all that space and understand everyone's point of view and understand uh, where everyone is coming from and uh, be able to uh, look at the situation without being judgmental and without uh, being critical, but rather look at it with a lot of empathy and generosity and therefore be able to uh, give the other party um, a sense that they are being understood as well. There's also a sense here that, uh, you know, from where you're coming from um, and and where you're headed to, there's a sense of, you know, it hasn't been perfect. It hasn't been um, actually okay. It's like you have these ghosts in your cupboard or you're just not necessarily as proud about some things in the past that you could have been um, you know, there are some things that you could have done differently in the past. You could have acted differently. You could have uh, spoken. You could have um, given something different of yourself to the world than what you did. And I feel that having this in the in the background or, or having it in perspective in the background is what's going to help you to move ahead in a way that you feel is honorable and you feel is uh, with integrity for yourself and um, you know in a way that's ultimately authentic for you and I think that the situation in this week as as you uh, what you presented with it gives you a chance to think about how would I authentically react to the situation and how would I act with with to the situation or how would I decide what to do taking into account the fact that I am an individual, that I am unique and that I need to do things in my way and not necessarily the way in which um, society or my family or my colleagues expect me to, to behave. So there's a certain degree of individuality here, a certain degree of independence that needs to come forth this week from you when you decide what it is that you need to do or what you decide not to do. 
I feel that regardless of the decisions that you make in this upcoming week or whether you choose to act, or whether you choose not to act, whether you choose to be vocal or whether you choose to be silent, um, I feel like ultimately you are in a better space from wh where you've come from. And there's a sense here that even though things may be, you know, um, not they may not look good or in some cases they may be crushing to the ground or in some cases there is um a sense that it can never be the same again yeah in some rare cases I'm sure that doesn't apply to you all um but I feel that regardless of whatever you faced with this week and whatever you've been faced with in the previous week and whatever you faced with in the following week so the week behind you the week ahead of you and this week what you're going to find is that there is a sense of it all being the way it needs to be. It is going to be okay. You are in a state of abundance, even though you may not see it. You are in a state where you're working towards um, being better, a betterment. There's something which is where you're looking after yourself, where you're moving towards a stage where you can better the way in which you look after yourself, or you can recognize sooner than later what you need to do in order to prevent something from taking place or to be able to um, put in place a therapy that might be needed um, just to be able to to be more um, prepared for what is to come and there's a sense that there's a great deal of abundance as far as that is concerned so perhaps you have the support that you need to be able to to create that um, preparedness that you need and perhaps you have you know um, the the necessary means to be able to ensure that you can recognize uh, when something is going to go wrong or perhaps you just simply have a, a kitchen a pantry that's full and a and a, um, a stomach that's full and you're just feeling really satisfied whatever it is it could it could be on a whole range of things there's a sense of there being abundance there's a sense of there being uh, a preparedness for what is to come there could also be um there is also a sense here that some that you are preparing for something like this whole week is a preparation for something it's a preparation for what needs to come and it might be that you are taking time to finish something in this week so that you can go along and begin something new in perhaps not the following week but the week after so there's a sense here of finishing some things here in order for you to begin something new and in that way you're also preparing for what is to come all right, so I'm going to leave it there. I think that is your up. That is the the meaning of this card for you. For those of you who've chosen the option number one, and I'm going to continue. And so for those of you who've chosen the option number two, um, we're asking what is your message for this week. And once again, I'm using uh, tarot cards this week. I'm not using oracle card you cards as I usually do. I'm just trying something different. So for those of you who've chosen the option number two, we have the card Heaven, Earth. So I feel here that as the week goes along, there's going to be a lot of things that you busy yourself with. Your week might be quite a dynamic week in which you do many different things or you're pulled in many different directions. You may also travel this week. It may be that uh, you choose to do many different things, like you put your head into many different things so you're taking care of admin as well as starting projects ending projects uh, making headway with certain projects um, traveling a bit uh, um, trying different activities doing many different things and it might be that you just don't leave your home or you don't leave your 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 space during this time but um but you're actually involved in many different things so it feels to me like a really dynamic week as you go ahead and it's it's a time where there can be a lot of balance achieved or you could catch up with a lot it feels like it's a very productive time for you that you can make a lot of headway and that you could um, feel quite proud of yourself by the end of the week if you were to actually take the action as it's um, as you are inspired to do so I feel here that you might be inspired to actually uh, get things finished or take care of some admin that's just been waiting around for you or um, just 
um, get, you know, um, get on the ball again or just, um, you know, be at your best again and to be able to tackle everything that's ahead of you in a very efficient uh, manner, uh, you know, just one by one getting rid of things that need to be done. It's like you, it's almost like you have a to-do list and you manage to take uh, a lot of things off that to-do list and you're feeling really proud of yourself at the end of it. And I think all of this, it talks about the balance that you're able to achieve. It talk, talks about you being really good with balancing things. It talk, talks about you having many different experiences and many different emotions during this week, but always maintaining balance and always ma- maintaining well-being through it all. It's like you wear many different caps this week as well. Like you do different things and you're really good at it. It's like you, um, you know, you, you're managing really well and you're feeling really proud of yourself because you're managing really well. So I feel here that there's a lot of goodness waiting for you in this week. And it's just a matter of uh, going ahead and doing what you need to do and just feeling, allowing yourself to be inspired as you go along the week. Like if you feel like, you know, you want to do a particular thing, then just go ahead and do it as opposed to thinking, oh no, I feel like doing that, but I'm not going to do it now. I'm actually going to do it tomorrow because that's when I'm supposed to do it or that's when I'll have time to do it. The advice this week is to simply be spontaneous, go with the flow, allow yourself to do what it is that you feel inspired to do and see and reap the rewards or the benefits that come with that and that's a very important message for you in this week i feel here that if you are inclined to procrastinate or not to take action or to take a different action that it will work against you so try not to do that just get on the ball and just do whatever you need to do in order to make sure that um at the end of this week that you're feeling uh that you have a feeling of being rewarded or you you're feeling proud of yourself ultimately there's also a sense here that you know a very different parts of you will be shown uh as you go through this week it's like you can wear many hats you can embody different um types of person at at a given moment and that you can be different um a different person in different environments and that is what's necessary and there's a certain confidence that's being built as you do this it almost feels like you are feeling uh, much more confident with yourself this week as when you then when you started out whatever it is that you were doing I feel that there isn't much more to say for those of you who chose an option too I just think that you are being held you are being looked after this week and you are uh, making headway and uh, you need to just be focused on yourself as you do that it might not be a time where you are necessarily interested in other people but it feels to me like a time where you will make uh, a a good impression on people and you will um, yeah you will make headway in yourself as a human being as a person as somebody who's concerned about themselves and uh, this is not to say that you're being self-centered or um, egocentric in any way but rather that uh, you were very focused on where you're headed to at this particular time and you're very balanced as you go about doing that so it sounds like a it's going to be a great week uh, as you go ahead in the next week or 10 days or so and I think you're going to be just fine all right so wishing you well and many blessings to you all and so for those of you who've chosen the option number three we're asking what is your weekly guidance and I'm using tarot cards here today not um oracle cards and um yes i hope that you will find this reading to be helpful so for those of you who've chosen the option three i feel here it could be quite an interesting week for you in that it's a bit of a gamble it could go either way for you and it's really up to you to decide in which way you'd like to go so i think that if you approach this week feeling quite confident almost to the point of being almost verging on arrogance that you're going to find that the week turns out quite your way because the way i see this or the way i'm um the energy that i'm getting is that this week is really in your hands and it's really up to what you make of it. So if you're feeling depressed, if you're feeling down in yourself, and if you go on in this week and you are going to take that energy into this week, then your week is going to be like that. It's going to be exactly what you feel about in yourself. And so 
the way in which you need to approach this week or the information that I'm getting here uh, for you is that the way in which you need to approach this week is to firstly think about how do you want your week to unfold. So I would say, you know, as as you as soon as you watch this video to actually go ahead and, and meditate and think about how you want your week to unfold every single moment of it or every single day have a uh, a plan for every day and think about how you how it is going to uh, work out for you and once you've done that then you are going to be prepared for the week it's almost like uh it's saying here that you need to maintain positivity and maintain walk a very fine line between being okay and not okay and then you can actually, it's a bit of a gamble. You can actually be really well this week. You can actually get things to work out very well for you. And if you are feeling lucky, I would say go ahead and play the lotto or something uh, to that effect because you are quite likely to win if you feel lucky. However, if you are struggling through the week, if you're finding difficulty in the week, do whatever you can to bring a laugh into your life, to lighten that energy, to uh, make it easier for you so that you can uh, change the rest of your week or at least try to influence the rest of your week in, uh, in a different way. So I feel here that, um, you know, there's, it feels like you carrying a lot. It feels like you feel quite burdened in yourself. And, uh, you know, uh, just even listening to this message is hard for you because it, it might be that it's difficult for you to actually change yourself or come out of a space where you're feeling a bit down and uh, and out and and to, to you know feel confident, feel feel well, feel like if you're in charge or feel like you know a little bit arrogant even because it's it's far away from where you're at right now. There's a sense of heaviness about you. There's a sense of um, there's also a sense of sorrow here for some of you. And so I think that, um, you know, regardless, take that with you, take it with you, you know, recognize that that's how you're feeling right now. Whatever you're feeling right now is what you have at your availability, at your avail. And think about it as something that you can simply just transform as you go along. And it doesn't need to mean that you are giving up on the intensity um, of what you're feeling. It doesn't need to mean that you are making light of something horrible that's uh, happened or that you are somehow um, distracted by what's been going on. It just simply, or that you will be distracted by, by actually uh, taking this path. What I feel here is that as you go along in this week, it's important for you to maintain the the goodness in yourself or to maintain the whole wellness in yourself. It's like there's this sense that it's important for you to to put yourself first, to think about you and your well-being. And you might be pulled outside of you um, or, or made to pay attention to somebody else who's having some difficult times. But I think here it's important for you to maintain your own well-being and to to not necessarily not help them. Of course, you could help them, but also just to, to put yourself first and to ensure that you're doing okay because there's all this energy here that uh, is is available to you. And if you let it go, if you just like ignore it and let it do, do its own thing with you, it's like a roller coaster or it's like a, a roulette, you know. Uh, you're going to find yourself somewhere where you don't necessarily want to be. So this week is, even though you might feel an intensity or a sorrow or some kind of difficulty coming from the past, from, from wherever you're coming from, let that acknowledge that that's how you feel but also try to maintain that as this week goes ahead that what go what happens is within your control and you can actually define what happens simply by controlling how you feel what are your emotions are you feeling up are you feeling down are you feeling positive are you feeling apprehensive are you feeling optimistic you know just kind of gauge how you're feeling because it feels to me that your feelings um, have a very close relationship to what manifests in this week. And I think that it's important to pay attention to that and, and just basically use that or manipulate it so that it works for your well-being ultimately and not against you. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there. Um, I think it's quite an interesting week for you. I think that, you know, if there are, um, that if there is healing to take place, if there are things to be managed, um, that can wait a different uh, another week, and this week you can just go all gung ho and uh, and take advantage of this energy and let it 
uh, work for you as opposed to feeling like you're being dragged along with it. All right. Um, if you feel like you need more clarity with uh, this particular card, just make, write a comment and I'll um, see what he can do. Okay. I'm wishing you all a very well week and I hope you're all doing well. And uh, yes, blessings abound from Kismet Rising.